Shed season 2024 is here. Braden and I just wrapped up a killer shed trip looking for elk sheds and we have a bunch of great content coming your way. We've teamed up with Sheep Feet and we're doing a whole bunch of giveaways this year. Getting your entries is simple. There's no purchase necessary. All you have to do is make sure you're following both Braden and I on social media as well as Sheep Feet and then tag us in your shed photos using hashtag shed crush and that will get you entered into win. After this video series airs, we're gonna give away a marsupial gear bino harness, a set of sheep feet, and also swag from each of us. Good luck, hopefully you guys crush it this year. Use hashtag shed crush. Hope you enjoy the videos. What's up guys, we're uh, back at it out here. Me, Big Time Crit, Hush, Eric Chesser. So us three are backpacking in, kind of doing a big push this whole month, uh, month together for sheds. Water's a lot different than last year. Everywhere we hiked last year, there was raging rivers. Now we've barely got a trickle. It's kind of murky too, but we'll, we'll use this for boiling camp water. 200 ounce bladder. Um, we got about another mile to where we want to camp. We'll drop, drop everything, get it squared away and start hitting the hills. So. Welcome to a new video. I think this one's gonna be a pretty fun one. As long as we don't get Giardia. Now go do the two corn front corners over there. Please. <laughs> well, guys, we are still out here doing some shed hunting. Got camp set up. We're all situated. We might do two different camp spots, I'm not sure yet. We kind of camped a little closer to the truck and we're gonna do a push kind of high today. And then if we don't find anything, we're gonna go out further to another direction. But update, Eric just found a big brown. Um, he got on some good sign, he said, and started gritting and walked onto a big old bowl that's pretty cool. So he broke the ice. I'm walking these elk trails here and it looks pretty good. A lot of poop um, and some old tracks. We just got about 24, uh, 12 to 24 hours of rain and uh, that washed out a lot of tracks. So we're gonna go off of sign probably like poop and droppings, rubs and just beat down trails, so. Holy cow. What the heck? What on earth? That's one of the coolest, most unique antlers I've ever found. Giant unders and just a gob of mass. What? What is that? And what does the other side look like? Holy cow, that thing is heavy. Guys, I don't know what the heck. I've never seen an elk like this in person and the fact that I found it and it's brown that's freaking dope well guys follow enough tracks and grid you'll walk onto something I just spotted what looks like a brown six-point lane up here nice left side steep hill you can see there there's some poop Elk Trail. Man, if I had to guess it's a brown. Kind of bleached out though. That might be a hard white. Looks hard white from last year actually. Oh, that's twice now this trip I've been duped into thinking I found a, a brown. But it is a hard white from last year. 
aside from the chew mark, still in great condition. So I'm pumped with that. That's a good icebreaker for me. Sounds like Eric's antler's pretty big, so I'm excited to see what that is. Um, but I'm gonna keep going this way. See if I can find anything else. There's some sign in here. Well, walk and walk, grid and grid. Got a two-year-old looking antler right here. Yeah. Decent shape, not quite chalk. It's just starting to chalk on this side. Good little six point. Hanging out in here. Has a pretty neat looking third right there. That's cool. A little bit of color there, you'd probably get hard white quality. Definitely worth packing to camp. If I just gridded up this hill, I'm definitely have missed some country. It's so thick hey, in here. Braden just found a giant um, triple unders uh, five point frame, I think, but it's a it's another one about in this quality of condition. Back at camp, <laughs> check out this set that Braden picked up. Oh, <laughs> that's the. Yeah, he's giant. Pretty oh. bull, has that perfect front look. See so those triple unders <laughs> and then those gigantic thirds. Insane. Yeah, that's what that's what Super. you want to find out here. He's Super alive, sensitive. I bet, man. I know that's the thing, even if they're like two years old, three years old, there's he's in here. Then Eric found this one. <laughs> Hold that up, buddy. Nothing <laughs> gnarled. This is what started the trip right off the bat. Yeah. I was, uh, I started hiking. There were some droppings right away. And then the sign just disappeared. And then I crossed a little ravine and I was just like, don't give up. There's been so many times where I've turned around too soon on a ridge. So I'm like, don't give up. Things can change. It's going to get a little grassier. And it sure did. And I, I hit the guys on the radio with confidence that there had to be a brown close by. And this was it, this freaking weirdo. As I was looking for that, and the first thing that caught my attention was that third. Look at that. It's like kind a glove. of flat, flat. Nice swooping two, and then that curvy third. Dang. So I think that's him. He definitely likes living on that ridge, but I gridded and zigzagged, and I could not find the match. So I don't want to leave without it, but I'm kind of burnt out of that hill. Well, pretty good start. A couple of <laughs> antlers each. Braid's got two actually over ones. here. Yeah, those, those other big ones. chalks. That seems to be the thing out here. Is you find a chalk, it's big, but they're Huge. they're usually messed up mega. from the critters and elements. You're so sad. Check this out, guys. That's how you backpack right there. Ready meals, crispy honey chicken wings. What's up? Big time. I grabbed some at the Safeway. I'm trying to eat it a little Down. bit. How is it? It's good. We just need to definitely warm it up. All right. It'll be way better. comfy on the lookout and glass and eat snacks because look at this stack dude. dang let go getting geared up to leave for round two first full day out in this spot i think it'll be a good one we already have an idea of where some brown antlers were and then of course there's white scattered all over apparently uh based on that first day we had so we're all kind of splitting up. Sounds like Big Tide might be in between Eric and I. And we're just gonna divide and conquer again, hit each other on the radios, see what we could find. All new country for us, so that'll be fun. Just kind of exploring and, and learning as we go. It's time to crush it. We just gotta put in the miles. Just glassed up a set. 
It's got to be a set side by side, but it almost looks like two different bowls, like two different colors of antler. One looks way bigger than the other, but it's a left and a right antler <laughs> right next to each other. I'll show you what I can see right here with the, the all-in system. Say it every time you can walk and walk feel like you're never gonna find one and then you come around <clears throat> just the right bush and there'll be one laying what is it six point nice six point hard white would have been brown last year all chewed up look at that bowl that's it big bull right there too bad they just get so devoured and chewed up you can see going up the royal some chew marks around the thirds and then of course they love chewing up that burr but a solid antler take it yeah i've been putting the miles down that's for sure i feel like i'm so close every time i get in bones I get an elk sign. I feel like I'm so close to finding a, um, a brown, but I can't. So I just walked onto another hard white. Chewed to, chewed to crap. I think it's the match to the first one I found. It's not a match. The other one I found is a little bit bigger and heavier. And they're both left sides. So we've got two right sides laying up here. It makes these antlers feel so stupid when you see these chew marks. Even the couple browns that Braden and Eric have found already within, you know, two weeks of dropping, three weeks have been chewed on. But still hard white quality, big antler. Worth taking to camp until we can at least get into some browns. This is a heartbreaker of a find. Oh my gosh, freaking big ass bull. Oh man, chewed up on that beam because of how it was laying. Perfect for the rodents, but that is a big, big elk. Look at this antler. That is what you come out here for. Unfortunately, it's about three years old and getting chewed up. They age really quick out here. So that is what you come for. I've got an antler above me, right here next to me, and two to three antlers below me that I still gotta get. I think their condition is gonna be about the same as all these, but that is what you come out here to find. Still cool even though it's all messed up. I glass this antler up up the ridge and it is another year off of Eric's bowl looks like maybe last year but it is the left antler to the balloon bowl laying right here wow unfortunately he's been chewed on it was a brown last year laying here but look at that What a freaking freak of a bull. So we were wondering if this bull was gonna be a freak on both sides or just one. Eric has a right, I have a left off this bull and he is a freak. That's pretty, pretty cool. Too bad they just chew him no matter what. You can see he got his eye guard chewed up but he still held good color in the back. Heavy, dense antler. For whatever reason, this bull is just never going to be anything great. But he's he's sure unique. Look at that thing. What a weird elk. It's 
be walking around out here. Check that out, pretty fresh elk sign in here. These are the antlers, oh, that I glassed up this morning. We figured they're at least two years old, or at least I figured. I could see chew marks, could be even older. And I think it's maybe two, four antlers or three. So here we go. Here's the first two. Dang, a good set. Looks like about two years old laying right here. Right side, left side. And over here, we've got one. Small one laying in the brush. And then just past that, there's another antler right there. Well, this is the set that started the day. Last this side by side setup. Oh, back at first light. And that's what kind of led me to take this route the rest of the way. I, just, I think it's a set. Yeah, it's a set. Probably three years old actually, now that I'm looking at it. Maybe two. This horn's, this side's really cool, seven. But this side's pretty weathered away and beat up. Cool set. I'll, I'll haul it to camp just to show the boys, but I don't think it's uh, gonna make it home. Cool set though. Back to camp, it is, uh, well it's a little bit later now, I had to eat dinner first. It's 9.40 now, I got back about an hour ago with Eric. Here's a look at everything I found laid out. So I had the big hard white. I don't know how this pickup video was, so here it is. Really heavy, palmated right there. One of my favorite finds today. A Couple other hard whites, here's the Mega. Unreal. Next level size bowl. Again, chewed up, but you could still see has a lot of antler left. And that beam, I'm guessing, would have went probably out to here. That's 60 plus. This bowl could be one of those next level size 380 plus bowls if you had both sides. Um, and then we we'll get Eric's. We grabbed, or I found the Last year's antler to Eric's big right there. crown bowl. Where's it? Got too many antlers. So here's Eric's brown from yesterday. And then here is the white <laughs> I found. It looks so cool. <laughs> so he's growing. He's got about four more inches of beam. He's getting bigger. His fronts are way bigger. Oh, a little bigger. Fronts are, yeah, a little bit bigger. Then Big Tyne got himself quite a Goodies. stack going too. Got a solid brownie. Brownie. There's that one. I thought it was the match to Eric's weird one, but obviously not. Yeah, I see what you mean with those those first Dude, two points. Just but massive. That's really about it. And then got another brownie. Just another solid bowl. Probably would have been like a nice five or a decent six, but broke on, broke on the back end. And then this was a really cool find that I glassed up and old EC got for me. You glassed that this morning, huh? Yep, glassed it this morning. Pretty bull. Wanted to go get it, but just never made it. And then I look over and Eric was just right on the ridge, like the spine above. So I told him to go get it and he did. So I appreciate that, but really good bull. One of the better ones I've ever found, really. Just long and pretty. Eric's got four quality. I've got 
I don't know. I think I could do another eight antlers tomorrow, counting whites. But hopefully we get into some browns. I know Big Tine scratched the surface, but there is a brown town out here somewhere a with uh, some good antlers to be found. So we'll check back in tomorrow. That'll probably be a new video. So we will catch you on that one.